Well, good morning, everybody. I bet you thought I ran away from home. Well, I didn't. I'm still home. But all kinds, life got in the way, I guess you would say. I have, well, because I wasn't feeling well for a long time. And then um, I got a visit from Dory from Norfolk, Virginia. She came down for seven or eight days, I guess it was. And she helped me get organized. See the new look? She made these little, these. <laughs> I turned right from the left, right? She made these little signs, right? I can't seem to get, oh, there. That sign and that little thumbs up sign. And we got all my, we brought the fabric in here and we rolled it and stuck it in there. And then some are laid out. The thicker ones are laid out. And we got yarn in up there, and then in that in that closet right there, we have a whole bunch of yarn and totes, and in my bedroom and totes, and that's enough totes. So anyway, and we got a little shelf in the closet that's holding all the supplies for shipping and stuff like that. Using my little rollaway trays that's with my scale. See the? Okay, I can't keep my. This is my scale over here for shipping stuff. And she brought me a clock, which is ticking in my ear. I might have to might have to pull that down. And there's my Zen and Rogers bag that is holding a project. A, 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 it's a um, it's a, a top that I'm making. That's in that one. So. I guess you could say I don't have a lot of finished objects, but I will show you a couple things that I have finished or almost finished, or pretty much anyway, hell, it's finished. Well, I painted a couple pictures. They're the same, but freehand and all that stuff. Is some a couple of flamingos. I've got to sign them and date them, and they're going to be like um, giveaways at the um you know on the vacation that we're having over that we rented the house for over on Lido Beach. So I made a couple of little flamingos because that's sort of the theme of our week at the beach is the flamingos. So um I painted these. So they're finished. I just have to sign them. So that was fun to do. I haven't painted in probably fifteen years. So it was kind of fun to get back into um creating some I just noticed well that's all right never mind anyway so I, I did finish this so that was accomplishment in itself I did finish one other thing I'll show you um I have this little ironing board here's my little ironing board well the cover was all ripped and burnt you know how covers on on ironing board now, this is a little table ironing board and you can just put it on the table, or whatever. I put it on my little wheelie and wheel it around wherever I need it uh, when I'm working on a project. So I made myself an ironing board cover with the little chicken on it. Oops, don't want to drop. So I made my ironing board cover. It's all padded and ready to ready to iron. But look at the chickens. Aren't they that cute pattern? I thought it was bright and it would uh, cheer up my day. So yes, I got I did complete that. Isn't that great? So I know I'm jumping around, right? But I'll tell you all about the you know, all the organization that, um later. Then I have my iron board and my pickup stick is oh, there we go. So I do have a few things that I was working on. You have to excuse me. I'm getting dehydrated lately. Well, it's because of medication I'm taking. But anyway, so here is, this is the chart for this bag, which I think I'm going to turn into a pillow. I might, yeah, anyway, I might do the bag. We'll see. Um, I got it sort of clipped here together. But this is, hold this up. I made it two different colors because that's what I had in the cotton. So this is one side. 
and then the other side is pink, pink and purple. And that's the pink side. Um, what is this called? I don't know. It just says crochet bag pattern. And that's it. So I don't have a name or anything. It's just crochet bag pattern. And um, one of our friends, Seagal, she went and did a written, writ, wrote this out. So that I would be easy. I did not have to go to this yet. So if I decide to do the straps and make it into a bag, I can do that or make it into a pillow. So yeah, I don't want to get dirty in a bag, you know, so I'll get dirty in a pillow too. But anyway, but I would line it. If I made it into a bag, I would line it and then put, you know, then have we'll have the straps to it. So I'm still sort of you know, working on this. So let's see, let's put that away. And then I'm on a knitting project. I'll show you this. I pick this up every now and then and do a few rows just because. Now I'll show you the pattern first. It's called a pattern. <laughs> pattern collection. It's called Woman. Are you serious? I think so. It says Woman. Look, see? Pattern Collection Women. And this is a pattern. It's a striped. It's just a cute little um, sleeve. You know, not long sleeve, but shorter sleeves that you can wear around. And uh, the yarn that I'm using is um, linen. And I think I used this. It's called Fiber Natural Lin Linea. L-I-N-A, which is 68% linen and 32% cotton. And I'm using, I'll show you the two colors. I even balled it myself on a ball binder. This is the citrus, and this is the, but you see, it's already starting to come apart, the blue and the green. And let me get my knitting needles out. And this is the start of it. That's, and then it goes green, blue, green, blue, you know, for so many feet, inches, or whatever. So, yeah, so I've been having fun with this. And I tried to do it where you wrap it around your finger and you just clip, flip it on. Uh, it doesn't work for me. I did it so tight that I couldn't put the needle through it. So I just went back to my old-fashioned way that I learned that my mother taught me. So, yeah. So And this is linen. And it's cotton, too. So it's a lightweight It'll be a nice little top. So I'm looking forward to so I'll work on it a little bit at a time. So that's good. So yeah, that's in my billy bag. <laughs> my good old billy bag. So I'm working on that. So those are the two basic and the sweater in the Zen and Rogers. Um, I guess I could get up and show you that. I wasn't going to, but I'll show it to you anyway. This is um this is a dress that I made. It's out of sear supper as you can see. see isn't that pretty? Uh, yeah, I made this. It's very comfortable. I did make the uh, opening here a little bit too wide, so I had to gather it in the back. Gave it a little bit of style. And then, but, so I figured now it's a square to, around the house. It should be, I had it a little bit too big. I think I got a little overzealous. <laughs> that, and this is my Zen and Rogers bag that I made. I crocheted. This is paint box here. And that's the back. Well, they're both the same. What am I saying? And then I lined it. With this. So this sweater is made with this Hirschner's pastry plus yarn. Um, this was, I, I guess I got it from Hirschner. I don't know, I remember where I got it from. But that's where I think I got it. So, yeah. So this is the front. The front go like this. Okay, it's a V-neck. That's the front. And then 
I'm now working. I've progressed a lot. Oh, here's the hook sticking out. I've progressed a lot on it. This is the back. And I guess it goes this way. Or it will. I don't know. It might go this way. I don't know. We'll see when it comes out. But anyway, so I've got a lot done on that. So all I have to do is finish the the back and then the two little sleeves. So hopefully this will get finished soon. And uh, I'll just stick that in there. The pattern. Did I show you the pattern? I did, didn't I? Okay. What did I do with it? Maybe I didn't show you the pattern. Maybe because I don't have the pattern. That could be a good reason. I don't see it. Well, dig on. Listen, I can't find anything. I don't know. The pattern's not here. I guess it must be somewhere else because <laughs> it isn't here. <laughs> so anyway, so that's, you know, I work on that a little bit here. I kind of switch off and on if I get tired and then I go to the crochet and I get tired. Of I go to something else. It just depends on what floats my boat at the time. Okay, so we got that done. Um, let's see. What else? Well, I don't see anything else. Well, I did. I haven't. Some of these I haven't completed, but I do have. These two dolls are completed. And the dog and the little striped purple one. Well, she's blue. She's actually blue, blue and purple. And then the dog one. And this is one Christmas one that I have completed. And then these two, I haven't put the hair on yet. But these are Christmas dolls. See. So, if you're interested. If not, that's okay too, you know. And um, so that's fun. And then I'm going to make uh, this little flamingo. Well, you can't read that. I can't read it even up close. But I'm going to make that little flamingo feathers, it's called. And this pattern... Let's see. It's intermediate. I don't know. I can barely read the pattern. But anyway, I'm going to give that a try for some reason. Now, <clears throat> I want to first apologize to all the people that sent orders in in August that I haven't fulfilled. Um, I just want to let you know that I am getting them ready. And with my new organization, we have gotten a tray ready for each order that I'm going to do. Like, this is this is Laura, Laura's tray. She has her own tray, things that I need to make for her. And I'm going through getting everything cut and ready. And then I have JoJo. I'm just going through them because, you know, writing emails drives me crazy. I just can't do it much anymore. But this is JoJo's bag. I've got that all cut and ready to to go with order in front. And then I have another bag like that for uh, Miss uh, Who's this for? Cheryl. Cheryl. Bye, 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 bye. I got this, Cheryl. It's all ready to be, you know, so. And then I have an order for Anita. And that's the cat. I've got that all cut and ready to go. And then I have an order for Miss Teresa. I've got that skull all ready. I should put the order on the front so I know who they're for. So I got that all ready for her to go. And an order for Sally all cut and ready to go. So. There might be some more, but I think that's... Oh, and the potato bags. <laughs> I got all of them cut. I'm working on the... Um, on. Let's see, I got that one cut. I got one more to finish cutting, and then there are going to be two different ones. I hope they come out all right. It looks a little crooked, but I'll fix them up for you. Yeah, I forgot how to do them, but I am making potatoes. As you can see, the material, I've got it inside out, but the material is the potatoes. Like this, and then I have lining to it. So I got those um, cut out and ready to go. So this is my part of my new organization. Instead of having my orders stacked up with not 
knowing where the other orders. Anyway, so it's all organized now so that when it, this table is my cutting table, and then it moves over here to my sewing table. So right now I'm just searching through. I've got stuff in there that I need to search through to get and bring in here uh, my working materials. I'm missing some working materials, so I need to look for those. So in my haste, um, you know, getting stuff done. Also, 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 I've got something else to show you. I don't know if any of you watched, of course, I know you have, Chevy, Chevy, Chevy Rail, Chevy. Miss Chevy, Miss Chev, um, had a great podcast. If you watch it, if you watch her, her last podcast, well, I enjoyed it because it was so many different uh, mediums, I guess you'd say, uh, artistic um, mediums. And uh, I just enjoyed it because I'm kind of like that myself, as y'all can see, this, 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 and this. So I really enjoyed, um, and I had been wanting to make something, uh, a mac something like macrame, um, purse for myself. So I saw this. This is called the Urban Nomad Boho Bag. And she made it. And of course, she's making her, her friends a little sh shorter than this. I'm not making mine long like this. I might have a little something, but I'm not into fringe, but what the heck, a little bit wouldn't hurt, right? Gotta, gotta go with the flow, right? You gotta go with the flow. So anyway, so I decided to make it, since it's always Summer here. I have this cotton, which is just it's used like kitchen cotton. I think that's what it it uh, it calls for. Lion Brand kitchen cotton, and it's a four. I think it's a four. Anyway, I think it's always a four. And you need about five five skeins of the Lion Brand kitchen cotton, and you use a K hook, so that's going to be fun. So anyway, I decided to use this is some this this is some um cotton from ice, but I've never liked it. I I did cake it. You, my cakes come apart, so I don't know what that's all about. So anyway, so I'm gonna put the two together, the white and that, and I'm gonna make the bag out of it. So it'll be a combination of these two colors. I know it doesn't have white in it, but that's all right. I want more of the solid color. So we'll see. I, I mean, I'll start it, and if it doesn't look right, then I'll just find another color. But I didn't have, I was just trying to use up some of the stuff that I have, you know, hanging around the house. And now with this reorganization, I know where stuff, are, where things are. You know, I've got a, a special uh, place for my cotton. I have a special drawer over here that's got all of my coin purses and eyeglass cases and stuff, materials, you know, the hardware and all that stuff in one place. Then I have all my, you know, uh, ribbons and bag handles and all that on this side. I have shipping stuff on this side. Um, you know, just so organized, so organized. I can't really find anything, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So we're going to see how this looks once it, once I start, you know, putting it together. Like my little uh, water jug here, this came as a gift from Z. I love my water thing, Z. Yeah, but I wish I had a longer straw. I have to go down real low. But thank you. I really like it. Oh, a lot of water. So anyway, so this is going to be, probably I'm going to work this right through because I really like this. So we'll see, we'll see how it comes out. I know because it's white and you can't see the pattern very well. Well, I guess, it's, come on, Billy, get with it. See if you hold it up tight. There, can you see more of the pattern? Anyway, I think it starts out as a uh, square and then it goes into that. Excited to start that one. All right, what else have I got to show you? I do have some items that I received for the babies, and I wanted to um, show you those. Also, 
story, um, went to this place near Norfolk or where she lives, and she found it's a it's kind of like a goodwill, I guess. Um, but she found these items. They're needlepoint. And the needlepoint, I used to do needlepoint when I was younger. Um, a lady that was a, um, she worked at Mount Vernon. Uh, and in Mount Vernon, there's a lot of needlepoint. And she, um, there was a stool there. I think it's, it's still there. I, I don't know if it was on the stool or if it was on a chair. But it was like sh orange shells with yellow and um, on it. Well, I needlepoint pointed that Martha Stewart replica. I replicated that. And I put it on a stool. And the stool probably cost more than the whole shebang of, you know, putting it together and everything. But anyway, my sister still has it. I don't know. I think I took a picture. I'll have to look. But next time I do a video, I'll show you the picture of it. But she still has it. And I did it back when I was like 19, 20 years old. So that was like 57 years ago or so. So anyway, so I've always enjoyed needlepoint. And I don't know why I've never picked it up again. I'm like, you know, time still, i got more time. I can shuck out some more needlepoints in no time. But anyway, she went through, um, I don't know if she approved of me showing these, but I'm going to show them anyway. She went, there was a whole bag of them. And she went through um, we went through them and uh, there was some that I really liked that that I want to show you. Now this, the first ones I'm going to show you were, they were sewn together and I guess, I don't know what the lady had done with them, but she sewed them together and she might have put them on a frame, but I don't know how she did it because they were, it looks like they were never blocked. In other words, they're not even straight. But it's, look, little Miss Mary sitting on her tuffy, or is that what it was? Or tough? Well, anyway, there she is. And then there's little boy Blue blowing his horn, or whoever he is. I can't remember all my, I don't know if this is Jack, but I think this is the thumb. What was it? Was this thumb? Anyway. I'm going to try to block these. Now, they're not, some of them were so old that if you just went like this, the the netting would, would just rip, right? So, I'm going to take, and I'm going to block these, all three of them, and frame them, and send them to a real favorite friend of mine by the name of Quinn. She's a little baby girl. She's about, I don't know, seven, eight, nine months, somewhere in there. Anyway, so I'm going to do these for her to put in her room. But I just thought they were so cute. So anyway, so I'm going to put those together. And I know when, I don't know, but I am going to get them together. But I love that. Love that. Then there was this one, which also needs to be blocked. As you can tell, they're all crooked. But at the polar bears. Aren't they something? With the mama with the little baby ones. Now if you see these little signs here, they mean something. I looked it up. There was one oh, here we go. It's called Trigrams of Fu F U and then H S I. This symbol right here means heaven. This little symbol right here with the six bars means heaven. Now this one, this one means water. This one means water. I looked it up. It's really cool. And these three long ones are heaven. I said heaven, didn't I? Those three short ones. Oh, the three short ones is earth. This one over here is earth. This is heaven. This one here is thunder, and this one is do 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 do. What's that long, long two shorts? Wind. But isn't that cool? This is F U H S I. You can look it up 
you can uh, Google it, and I'll tell you all about it, the dynasty and all, all that stuff. But isn't that interesting? I just love that. I think that is really cool. And then, look at this one. Isn't he cute? Now, this one looks like it might have been blocked, but as you can tell, it's um, going to be very tender. I might not block this one, just do something with it. Uh, of course, you know, I can make bags with these, too. So, um, just got to be very gentle with the um, with the aging on these, because it could just split right, right apart. And then, they made a pillow. Whoops. See, let me get my giraffe. Here he is. The giraffe and the zebra. Look at that, they're cute. And it's on a pillow insert. So you can just put it right in there. And then it's this one. Uh, look at the panda. Isn't I don't know what these symbols mean, but I guess I'll have to look them up. But look at that panda. Isn't that beautiful? And, it, you know, I went to the Washington Zoo and saw the panda that's there. When he first came, I, I guess a couple times, but when he first came to the zoo, it was just such an attraction because, of course, we didn't have these. But these are so gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? But I just love this one, too. And then there's... The rooster, and I think what I'm going to do this with, if I can, if I can't match this, I'll put in a, um, I'll get some different color, and maybe um, square this off a little bit. But isn't that a beautiful rooster? Beautiful colors, gorgeous. Love that one too. And this happens to be probably one of my faves. Isn't that gorgeous? Eat your heart out, Lynette. Isn't that gorgeous? My friend Lynette loves elephants. Beautiful work done on it. Um, you can see a few a few mishaps here and there, miss stitches. But and here she didn't finish it. As you can see, it stopped here. She didn't finish up and down here. Of course, getting a color to match this would be absolutely. You would probably have to end the pattern here but isn't that gorgeous so I just I love looking at these and um, but anyway I love watching you know it's just sorry crinkle crinkle it's just gorgeous I just love it just love it okay boy am I rattling on tonight huh so I'm just so organized that um I love the way it's done. We've got two long tables in here, one for cutting and one for sewing. So it just gives me a lot of room. And, of course, where I cut, I can use to pack my pack, pack my packages. You know, do my packages. Mailing. Let's just say that. Mailing. Now, I received some boxes. This is the first I'd like to show you this one. This box was from... From California. Placenta, California, I guess. I don't know. I don't have a name, but I have a nice, a nice um, little note. And I want to thank you very much. But first thing I have to show you, she made me something, and I love it. And it's in orange, burnt orange. That's just my lipstick. Isn't that cute? It's a little apron, like, for your soap bottle. I'm going to use it for my wine bottle. <laughs> But isn't that cute? Look at the. Isn't that pretty? I can't. I got to get used to this camera and where I am and tilting. But isn't that adorable? I was just so tickled. I've been carrying it around with me. I just love it. Thank you so much. It's so. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so cute. I just love it. Thank you so much. I might have to put it on my. I have a bulletin board over here. 
had all, a bunch of cards on it. I took the cards down, and I've got placed on there little things that people make me. So I might honor this with a place up there. I got Christmas stuff that people have sent me, um, angels. I got a flamingo up there. I got an octopus. Grab your drink. I got some of that. So anyway, so that's real nice. Now she sent these for the little Indian babies. This little sweater, little lavender sweater. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I love it. I got a little, a little sweater. And we got another little sweater. Isn't that cute? This one's open. Little open sweater. Isn't that cute? I love it. it smells good too. It smells like a baby, to be honest with you. Ooh, and this, I just adore this. It's like a little. Look at this. Isn't this a. Well, you know, I like pastel colors, but isn't that cute? cute and then it has look at this little booties cute little booties and look at this little hat at the back it's like the old fashioned hat isn't that cute and it comes around it has a beautiful isn't that pretty it's done so well of course I love the color it is so pretty I just love it and the little oh it's just so cute Thank you so much, so, so much. So we'll be getting all these out. Thank you so much. That's very kind. You did a beautiful job. I love them all. Love that. Oh, just gorgeous. So that will be going out. Miss California, thank you so much. And then I got this. Dory sent this bear. To go to the little Indian babies. I don't know if it does anything, squeaks or anything, but it sure is lovable. And it's soft. So she sent a bear and she made this blanket to go. Isn't that pretty? A little star blanket. Thank you, Dory, so much. The kids are going to love this. And with it being blue, some little boys going to enjoy it. Thank you so much, Dory. The kids are going to adore it. Get over there. And then I got a box from you know who? Mary. Mary sent a box for um, the little Indians and some other stuff. So let's go through these. I haven't been through these, so it'll be fun to to do this together. Look at this little, isn't that the cutest little hat? <laughs> I love it. Look at that, isn't that cute? It's so cute. Let's see what this is. This is, oh look, it's like a vest, a little vest sweater. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Very nice. I love this. And we have Another sweater, a pink sweater. A sweater for a boy and a sweater for a little girl. Isn't that cute? Very nice, Mary. Well, this is fun going through this together. Oh, look at this. We have a sweater. Sweater and a little hat. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. And then we have... Another, oh, we got so many sweaters. This is wonderful. You know, with winter coming on. Yep. That's so pretty. I love the color, of course. <laughs> oh, I love this color, too. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Sweater in orange. With a cute little hat to match. Isn't that adorable? That is so cute. And then just fold it. Oh, look at this one. Cinched at the top. Oh, that's an easy one. That's great. Oh, Mary, I love these. They're so pretty. Isn't that 
so pretty. Oops, you can see. Little baby one. These are all hats. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Let me show you. Look at this one. It's got a little. Isn't that pretty? It's got little pink, little orangey text in it. Isn't that cute? And then they all have little flowers on them, aren't they? Cute little bow. Where's the little bow? Right here. Yellow with a little white bow. These are adorable, and the sizes are perfect. Oh, Mary, these are so cute. Oh, look at this little tiny yellow one for a little preemie. Look at these, they're gorgeous. Oh, Mary, 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 quite contrary. Look at that one, isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. It's got orange in it. Oh, my goodness, this is adorable, this one. Look at it. It's got a butterfly among the flowers. That's adorable, Mary. That is so cute. You guys see that? Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Little pink one with a little flower or a little butterfly. Yeah, I got a couple more. I love these little. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that, guys. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I don't know if you just. little blue for little boy and look at this little pinky one isn't that cute for a little baby eyes right under and it has a little rose in the back oh Mary these are so adorable wow I just love these hats and sweaters oh the kids the babies I'm so glad there's a lot of sweaters that is so great that matches that Little brown sweater. I do think this is cute, though. I really like the color. And she said, "Floor." Put that up here and let me show you. She sent me some fabric, but I'll show you that. I have to, I'll show you that first. I mean, second last. But she sent some blankets. Like that one. Did the back. I love doing that. But isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Nice, nice blanket for a boy. I love the way you did the uh, crawl stitch or whatever anybody wants to call that stitch. Very nice. I like this one for a boy. Look at this. It's got the little soft fringe on it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, Mary, I love it. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. You must have fun doing these blankets. Because that looks like a lot of fun. Very pretty. I love it. I think this would be great for a boy, too. I'm glad you did some stuff for boys. And a little fuzzy, little fuzzy stuff. Isn't that pretty? I like this fab, the yarn. It's very pretty. Because I don't get out. To, oh, I see yarn on everybody's channels. But I don't know where that came from, but it's pretty. And, ooh, I love, ooh. Oh, my gosh. This is super pretty. Look at all the that one. Isn't that pretty how that came? That is so pretty. And it's look at the end. Oh, that is so pretty. It's tiny too. It must be like a two or more like a two, I think. But isn't that pretty? Ooh, smells good too. Woohoo! Smells mighty good. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the stuff for the babies.
now, Mary did it again. She enabled me. Okay. She sent me some fabric. I love this. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful red. And then she sent these beautiful flowers. Isn't that pretty? Roses. Knock, looks like knockdown roses. Isn't that pretty? Goes with that. And then she sent me more of this beautiful fabric here. And I've already cut some of it. Yeah, I looked at the fabric. You know, I couldn't resist. I've already cut some of it to make a bag for Sally. And then I think I'm going to take uh, some of it to make me a moo, moo What do you think? I'm not going to let this go without make, making me something. So it's easy. I might make it, and then I want, well, you saw that. That's with the, the parrots and everything. You can see that better, huh? I don't know what you're seeing, but isn't that pretty? And there's a lot of it, too. And then, look at this. I thought, well, I like this one, too. It's a lot of fabric, so I might make me another dress out of this. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. Are you seeing it upside down? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just, it's so heavy. That must, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. So you might see me prancing around in a couple of days. I like to make them for our trip. You know, just something to throw on. For, because we're going to be hanging around the house a lot. Oh, my goodness. I heard you were feeling under the weather. It's a car. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Hope you feel better soon. She's in the middle of five more blankets that she takes turn working on. I hope that you feel better every day. Bless and continue play. Mary in California. Oh, look what she sent me. Yeah. Stress less with a hot and cold spot pillow. This is too cool, Mary. Tape. Taped up here. I stick this, I'll put this in the freezer. Well, the heat, heat. Oh, you can microwave it for 10 to 30 seconds for room temperature. Touch, test, or wrap in cloth to avoid burns. Store in refrigerator freezer for two hours or more. Mm, hot and cold. Tomorrow I have, um, I had an appointment with my neuro, uh, my neurologist. Uh, but they called me yesterday and they are, because the epidemic, I'll call it epidemic, the, the virus is so bad down here that um, they're not taking office visits at all. Not at all. Everything is going to be done virtually. So I will be doing that tomorrow around 3.30, I think. So stress less. Look, and it's all velvety there. Ooh, I guess you just, ooh, so nice. Ooh, I guess this is the part you put on your body. But they say on this nerve here, if you use, I think it's cold, warm or cold. I can't remember. But I'm going to ask her tomorrow when I talk to her. So, yeah, so that's really cool. Thank you, Mary, for thinking about me. I just love it. I love it. I'm going to use it today. But I feel I feel pretty good today. I'm having trouble with my right eye where it feels um, sore, you know, so sore to touch and, to, you know, I can't wink without it hurting, and then it shoots back there. But anyway, but I love my material. It is just so me. This is just so me. I just love it. Of course, I'll make bags if anybody wants them, but otherwise. And I love this, too. I love this material. Beautiful material. God, Mary, you know me like a book. I just love this stuff. So, update on the health. Um, went to see my, did I tell you? I went to see the doctor. All my blood tests are fine. 
Um, I'm having some out of breath, um, not from not from uh, activity, but from just walking from one room to the other. <clears throat> so they're putting me on some um, water pills. Yeah, what do you call them? Lasix, I guess is what they're called. Uh, she wants me to get a scale and to see how much uh, fluid I I must be retaining a lot of fluid. She just checked around and said I was. So if I look puffy to you, it's all fluid. So if I take fluid, then look. If I, I mean, then I'll get all thin. So anyway, <laughs> ooh, that itch is so crazy. So anyway, we're just uh, keeping an eye on me, and um, then tomorrow I get the results of the MRI of my brain, which, you know, says that I'm sane, so, in my book. But they might say something different. Who knows? So, and then, um, I think that's it. Uh, Dory came in like a steam rover, ro steam roller. She came in and she just took over, man. She work all night and I'm in bed sleeping and I hear, you know, I see the light on and stuff. She's work. Came out one morning she reorganized my whole kitchen. It didn't need it. I mean, it, it. It's great the way she's reorganized it, but it wasn't one of my priorities. My priority was the craft room and um, getting my drapes hung. And um, I thought some, the pots and pans and cleaning, you know, the bathroom in here so that I could put the totes and stuff in there. So um, I ended up cleaning the bathroom. And um, she got everything. She was unorganized. I mean, she brought all these all these things that this stuff is in. She brought those. She did the subscribe thumbs up thing. She brought all kind these little these. I had like I think I bought like five of them. But she bought some more and all kinds of stuff to organize with. You know, the clock, um, hangers, the stick them on stuff. All kinds of stuff for organizing. And it, it was just, it was unbelievable. And she really worked like a dog. She really did. Um, she kept telling me it was a process. Now I have to, I have to say that I got, I got kind of um, felt left out, you know, at my own home. But uh, as far as having say, and then I think she realized that. And then we talked more on what my thoughts were and what, I needed because she didn't really know the process that I had. So I had to explain it to her. Um, but she just took over and just got every, a lot of stuff done. And now I just have to do the putting away of, you know, stuff that was taken out of things and put into a laundry basket. I have to go through all of that, but I don't know where I'm going to put it. So that's another issue. But I'll figure it out, and I did get the room, this room, working order yesterday. I spent quite a few hours in here just getting everything ready so that I can go and sew and start doing stuff. So it's coming along pretty nicely. I, I, I just love it. The kitchen is great. She redid my little room where all my food and stuff is, and she put my microwave in there. It was in there before, but we put it on a microwave table that I had in this room. So we moved things around, lamps, she got me a nice lamp from Goodwill to put in here. Uh, one of my lamps uh, triggered off the electricity yesterday. <laughs> it was a lamp that I had, I guess it was hanging around somewhere, <laughs> I put a bulb in it and it blew, so it kind of steamed a little bit. So that's going into the garbage pit. But anyway, we're, we're doing great, I'm doing great um, so far. Um, just worried about the retention of fluid, and uh, <clears throat> and once we get that under control, then I won't be so out of breath. Ooh, I was breathing. You can't breathe. It's terrible, terrible. So anyway, so I want to thank everybody for um, for uh, keeping in touch and for asking about how that you miss me and want to know if I you know flew the coop. 
ran off with a handsome man and went down to Australia or, you know, Venice or Italy, some really neat place. Nope, still here. <laughs> still here doing my doing my thing. Uh, been resting a lot. I'm really, really tired. And yesterday, um, she said that I looked, you know, I had I have bags under, I mean, not bags, but dark circles. So I explained to her what was going on, and she told me to to relax for a few days until we get the uh, fluid under control. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to relax right here in this room and do stuff or crochet or whatever. So anyway, so I'm here. I didn't go anywhere. I'm alive. I'm still ticking. Barely, but I'm ticking. <laughs> and I missed you guys so much. And, uh... I want to say hi to uh, to my new young friend, oh, well, my friend, uh, Dr. Nair's daughter. Hi, sweetheart. I know you're watching. So I just want to say hi. And I gave some more Damn It dolls out yesterday to Jackie and um, uh, the uh, Dr. Nair's nurse. I can't think of her name. Yeah, I can't think of her name right now. This is... Anyway, so I gave them their Christmas presents early. Dr. Nair I'll have to wait for hers in March. <laughs> so anyway, um but I want to thank you all. I know I know I don't say um uh, this subscribe and thumbs up stuff, but um I wish you would. That would be nice. And um the one thing that I don't know why it bothers me, but it does is when people put their thumb down. If you don't like me, please go somewhere else to somebody that you do like. But don't give me a thumbs down. That's that's not kind. I've never, in the three years, I have never given a thumbs down. Never. Even if I didn't like the video, I would never do that to anybody. It's It kind of hits you right here, you know. What what didn't you, you start questioning yourself. What didn't I do right? Uh, maybe they don't like my personality. Well, that's okay. Go somewhere else. To somebody's personality that do, that you do like. Um. But I do want I do want to do one little shout out. Only because it'll probably piss her off. But anyway. Mama Swift. Mama Swift Crochet, I guess. Mama Swift Crochet. Anyway, put in Mama Swift and you'll you'll get her. She is close to a thousand subscribers. And I think that's her goal this year to make a thousand subscribers. And I would love um if you haven't, Mama Swift is the one that won the, um, she was the princess of the fairies. No, she was princess, we were the fairies, right, last last year. And she won all that beautiful, all those beautiful gifts and stuff. And she has utilized all that yarn and stuff that she received. She's been using it to make blankets. And every week she comes on and she does a random pick em thing, random pick em thing, you know what that little, you know, whatever that random pick em thing is. Did you get that, the random pick em thing? Yeah, you know what that is, right? On the comments from the week before, and she she donates, and she gives away a beautiful blanket. I have one of her blankets, and I love it. And every one I've ever seen are absolutely beautiful. Um, a lot of times she might you know, get it from a pattern, or she'll see, uh, like, I don't know, a, a baby dress, and she looks at the pattern, she says, oh, I'll make a blanket out of that, and she does, and she does beautiful work, and most of her blankets aren't exactly the same all the time, but uh, go go check her out, and, you know, enter and win a blanket, I mean, it'd be great, and then at the end, and she sends you to somebody else to look at, and then you come back to her and comment and all that stuff. But um, I'd love to see her get to a thousand before the end of the year, and I think with your help we could. I mean, work on it, baby. Let's get Mama Swift up to a thousand. What does it mean to her? It would be a goal that she wanted to reach. So let's let's do that. I'm dependent on you guys to do that. Just do it for me, if not for Mama Swift. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. No, wouldn't it be nice to see her get to a thousand? I mean, she's really worked hard this year, and she's also making um, for the eighteen people that are going on this vacation here in in 
Lido Beach or St. Norman's Key or whatever it is, the house that we rented. Um, she's uh, making uh, swimsuit covers. What do you call them? You know, covers for swimsuit. Anyway, she's making everybody one. Yep, every single person is getting one. So she has been working diligently between the, the, the swimsuit covers and the blankets and other things that she has going on. She stays a busy lady. Plus, she watches her daughter, her granddaughter during the week for four days a week. So she stays busy. And um, I would just love it if y'all would go over and give her a little thumbs up and subscribe or whatever YouTube tells you to do. Um, I appreciate that. So that's my shout out. And um, go over there and give her a visit. That's it. I want to thank you all very much. I'm sorry I've been MIA for two, three weeks or whatever it is. Just uh, from being ill, from not feeling well to um, having company, it was kind of hard to do. A, you know, everything was a mess. I could never move the computer around and all that good stuff. So you can see a different a different look. And there's my Canadian hat for all my Canadian friends. That was sent to me by Deb, the Canadian Crutcher. And that's it, guys. That's it, folks. I will see you guys soon. I promise. As soon as I do something. <laughs> I got a lot of sewing to do, but I'll keep y'all posted. And we'll see what we have to see. And I'm going, uh, not this Saturday, but the 18th, I'm going over and I'm going to video the place that we are going to be staying for vacation. So I might do a little editing there and maybe we'll get, uh, you know, I'll show you where we're staying. Because you might, might, might want to come to Florida and stay there yourself. So we shall see. All right, this is like an hour. You know, I don't do anything short. These are short videos, but maybe I should start. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.